Hey everyone, it's Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a paycheck to paycheck budget video for you guys to follow along and be motivated to continue on your financial journey because we all know that we need some motivation and that is what this channel is all about is just to give you guys some inspiration and you know, showing my budget and how I do things. And I hope that it inspires you to continue on your financial freedom journey. So uh, without further ado, let me just go ahead and get started. So I am using my worksheet that I have created and I have actually edited my paycheck uh, worksheet where I actually put in a savings portion here or a savings spot so I can figure out what my potential savings will be. So let's just get started. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can follow along. All right, so this is paycheck number three for me. And the payday is the 15th of August. And I actually got paid the same day as my husband, so it was, kind of interesting that it both fell on the same Thursday. So for this part right here, the paycheck, I'm just going to add together both of our pays, which ended up being $1,586.21. cents. I'm just going to put it over here on this side. Okay. And now I always give a 10% to tithe, which in this case, I'm just going to round to $160. And um, we are going to be giving uh, $20 for the additional offering. So total giving for this will be one hundred and eighty. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that right up here. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and get into our expenses section. So what I like to do is start off with like the big items. So that's your mortgage, your car payment, car insurance, whatever is that larger item, I like to put up top and have it separated paycheck to paycheck. So that's what these videos are. I make sure to make my monthly budget and then each paycheck, I like to break things down even further so that I am on track to where I wanna be. I hope that that makes sense. Let me know if I didn't make sense at all. Sometimes making these videos, I can get a little scatterbrained, so I apologize. But the first item that I'm going to list is my mortgage. And we, are, we have already set aside uh, portions of our mortgage throughout the past few weeks. And we like to make it like baby sizes which is $245.55 that we separate each pay or each week, right? So typically it's about six paychecks that we set, set aside two forty five fifty five dollars because we pay our mortgage payment on the 15th um, because we have that grace period. It is due on the 1st, but to make it comfortable for us in our budget, we pay it on the 15th of the month. The next item is our electric. And what we're setting aside is $83. And then we have our phone payment. And we're gonna pay that 5117. And that completes the phone payment for the month. The next item is our car, the car lease, that we will hopefully be done in probably the next nine months or so. I have to check to see how much longer we have for our car uh, lease, but 
it just makes sense for us to write it through because we have such a short uh, time left on the lease. So we just kind of have to deal with it for now, which kind of stinks, but hey, we learned a ton with the car lease. So we will not do that again. Now we have our car insurance. So for this paycheck, we are only setting aside $40.77. And then we have a life insurance that comes out and that is $12.70. We have a credit card payment that's due, which is $67. Sun Pass. I'm just putting it in the SunPass category, but we got an invoice sent to us from ePass that we have to make a payment on, which is a little bit frustrating because we have our SunPass. And for some reason, the times when we go through the ePass tolls, it doesn't always take from our SunPass account, which is really annoying because we put money in our SunPass to be used for tolls and then it doesn't work on ePass. So um, I might consider switching to ePass. If any of you are in, you know, the, the South, live in the South and have SunPass or ePass, let me know what do you guys use? Do you use SunPass or do you use ePass? And what the heck is the difference? I don't even know. Um, but if you know anything, please let me know and let all of us know who may be in the same boat as I am. Um, just leave your response in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback on that. And then gas, we're setting aside $85 for this. So these are all of the fixed expenses um, that I am setting aside for, not including our grocery. That's gonna go here in the cash envelope section. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add all of this up. And I'm using my new calculator. It is pink. I got this from the dollar store and I thought it was super cute. So hopefully you all can like see the numbers, but I'm gonna go ahead and just add this up quickly. All right, so the total expenses comes to $723. And 19 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up here. All right. So now that we got this all taken care of for the totals, we're gonna figure out what we have left over. So I'm gonna take my income, which was the 15. 86 21 and we're going to subtract the giving which was $180 and then lastly we're going to subtract our expenses so that leaves us with a remaining balance of six hundred and eighty three dollars and two cents all right so this is where we figure out, okay, what do we need to separate for our sinking funds, our cash envelopes? So the main one is obviously we need to buy food. So we have to do some grocery shopping. So the first cash envelope that I'm gonna put here is for groceries. And the amount that we set aside weekly is $75. So our formula for groceries is we set aside a hundred dollars per person in our household starting at 300 and I got this from Jordan Page and she talks all about like how to be frugal with your groceries and like what to spend she also does like no spend challenges and it's been super inspiring for me so if you haven't heard of her Search her on YouTube. She has a ton of videos and she's absolutely amazing. But I came up with this based on her suggestion on how to budget for groceries. Now, the next 
cash envelope that I am setting aside for is our anniversary. And as you all know from the last paycheck budget video, we were kind of tight on what we were able to withdraw. So we're trying to figure out, okay, we have to make up for some of those cash envelopes that we weren't able to set, set aside funds for. So for our anniversary, this time, we're able to set aside $42 in that. And then we have our car maintenance. And we are gonna set aside $21 for that. This is for like any tire rotations, oil changes, our car registrations that are gonna need to be renewed this upcoming year. So we're trying to factor in all of that and be prepared uh, when that time comes. And now Christmas, we are setting money aside here, which is so exciting because Christmas is coming up. It is creeping up on us. August is almost done. Guys, school is starting here at least. It started already. And uh, the traffic has been crazy. <laughs> it's been difficult, but hey, that's this time of year, right? And eating out, we are putting aside $10 for this. And then lastly, our gifts envelope. And we're setting aside $20 for that. So now let's add up our cash envelopes portion. All right, so the total for the, this cash envelope portion is $210. So now we have to figure out, we still have money left over because clearly, as you can see up here, there was $683.02, but we only put in $210. So let's figure out what we have left over. So $683.02 minus $210. That leaves us, guys. Oh my God. That leaves us with $473.02 left to put it towards our emergency fund. And as most of you know who have been following me and uh, you know the struggle that I have been having with following the baby steps and really being on track. We've completed baby step one multiple times. And right now we are back to square one. But guys, look at where we are now. This is a tracker that I created to kind of keep me inspired and to see that we are progressing. So, oh my God, we are completing baby step one from this paycheck. So we only have a, a little bit here. I wanna say it was like 400 and, oh my gosh. Give me one second. Let me actually give you the correct total. Um, and I don't wanna be a liar. So hold on a second. All right, so currently in our savings account for our starter emergency fund, baby step one, we have $672.72. So that's what these here, these are my, this is my tracker. So each one of these coins represents a full $50 set aside in our savings account. So right now we only have about like $300, one, two, three, 350, maybe a little bit more um, left or th three, hold on, one, two, three, yeah, 300 and like $20 left to make it to our baby steps. And guys, I said that we have $473 remaining. So that means that I am able to complete baby step one. <sighs> I, I just, I can fill this in and complete baby step one. And now I can move on to paying off our debt that we have. And that just makes me so excited. I could like almost cry because when you work so hard at something and then you have the thousand dollars and you're moving on to baby step two and then something comes your way and you have to wipe this up and start fresh multiple times, it can be devastating and you could feel so frustrated like we were, but what that taught us 
is you can save $1,000 quickly. So within a matter of a few months, we were able to save $2,000 or a little bit more because these emergencies kept arising. So I really hope that this could help you and it is gonna be available in my Etsy shop very soon. Um, let me know if you like this idea or if you know something similar, but guys, I completed, or we completed, because it's not just me, it's my husband too. Baby step one, I'm gonna fill this in um, a little bit later, not in this video, but we are able to set aside in our emergency fund 300, $27.28. That completes the full $1,000 that we need for baby step one to be completed. Oh, I cannot believe that this is happening. This makes me so happy. So what that means, let me just put the total savings, $327.28. I'm gonna make a note here that extra debt payment is $145.74. I wrote that kind of ugly. But $145.74 is gonna be made towards my smallest debt to start doing that snowball. So I am so, so excited. And I just hope that seeing my progress and you know the stumbles that I have gone that have happened to me and I, we are doing it. This household is doing the baby steps and we are working it and it's hard, but we are focused. So guys, you can do this. You can do this, okay? Um, whew, all right, moving on to the breakdown of the cash envelopes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark off what I am withdrawing. And now I am actually withdrawing my tithe in this cash envelope stuffing video. And in just a minute, you're gonna see why that is. But let's figure out what we need for the cash breakdown. So for the tithe, we have 160. So let's take aside one $100 bill, a 50 and a 10. And then for groceries, we have 50, 75. Anniversary is 20, 40, one, two. 21, 20, 40, 41, 42, 10, and a 20. So we have one, seven, two, one, and five. So one $100 bill, two fifties, seven twenties, two tens, one five, and five singles. That is what I had withdrawn from my bank account. So now let's get into the cash stuffing portion of this video. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this aside and just lay out the funds here. Try to make this as neat as possible. So you can't really see all of it, but it's okay. All right. So now getting to the reason why I am withdrawing from for the tithe. Let me keep it like that. Sorry, I'm trying to like adjust the frame so you all can kind of see this. Um, but the reason why is because I received a gift from Ashley. She has an Etsy shop and she makes these beautiful um, envelopes and she can personalize it. So she sent me this and it says Lizzie's Couch Envelopes and it comes in this pouch and I was so excited and there's like these trackers, no spend trackers and guys, I am loving them they are so beautiful and she even wrote down all of the labels for me on these cash envelopes 
and she has the giving envelope here. So that's why, because I wanna use this cash envelope, I'm withdrawing my tithe now. So she has all of these and then the groceries. She has the, the tracker um, and a place where you can write your grocery list here. So super cute. I have her, I always have her Etsy shop linked in all of my videos because I use her cash envelopes. I think they are wonderful. So yeah, that is the deal. Love it, love it so much. Okay, let's get into stuffing these. So we're gonna start with the grocery envelope, which is $75 that we're gonna put in here. So 50, 70, 75. And I'm just gonna stuff these. So this is gonna go in my wallet. Okay. And now we're gonna start with the anniversary. So that gets 42, 20, 40, 41, 42. We did end up taking some funds from here because we wanted to go out and celebrate a little bit early. Our anniversary is next month. So it's in a couple weeks, but we were like, we wanna go out to dinner. And so we decided to use some money from our anniversary because it was for the two of us. So as long as if you feel good and you're not like taking advantage, I think it's okay to like switch things up in your cash envelopes. So since there is a $100 bill here, I'm just gonna swap out the 250s so that we can lessen the load here in this anniversary. And let's see, we have two 20s and a 10, so I'm gonna take one of the 50s back. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm actually gonna switch this out for the five dollar bill for the groceries. to just make this envelope a little bit like not so thick. So that's that. Car maintenance gets $21. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna see. I'll just leave these together. All right. Christmas gets $42. 20, 40, 41, So I'm gonna have to figure out how to budget for a date night, but this is a good idea to like set funds aside for that. Eating out gets $10 from this pay. And gifts gets $20. All right, and now we have giving. So the tithe is 160, so we have 100, 120, 140, 150, and 160. That is from breaking down the, those envelopes as you saw. So I'll take this with me when we go to church, but I am like, so, so excited about that. Oh my God. I'm so happy, guys. Uh, let me know what is your like biggest struggle with like following the baby steps because I know that it can be kind of like upsetting if you 
fall off track and like things don't really work out but guys it is so doable for sure yeah it is so doable so i really hope that you guys were encouraged and you you got something from this because if i could just reach one person and encourage that one person then i did my job you know and i i love um, listening or hearing your comments, reading your comments. It just means the world to me. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys on another one. Bye guys.